Hi, this is Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and today's video is on the library panel, part of our Fire Studio 6 interface series. This is the first in a series of short videos we're going to create to help you understand the Fire Studio 6 interface. So as we're looking at Fire Studio, when you open it, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a blank black screen. Uh, your window layers up here in the right are going to be empty. Your all layers should be all empty. And what we're going to do is first focus on this button right over here, which is the library button. And you'll notice that when we push the library button, it's a toggle. So when we toggle it, it goes back and it says slide. So we can go back and forth from the slide panel and the library panel. So what we're looking at here is the library panel. And the library panel is going to show first all of our default layers or those layers of content that came with Fire Studio. So these are things that everybody has. They're all the same on, on every installation. So we've got backgrounds, clip art, damage, explosions, fire, hazmat, nav icons, placards, smoke, and we've got sound files and video clip art. So if I go back to the top, we'll go ahead and click on this background library. And you can see that once you click on it, it shows you the content over here on the right of what's in that library. So the very first picture that's on this is a two-story apartment building and you can see it here in this middle box which is the viewer so it shows you what you're looking at when you're clicking on these different layers that come with Fire Studio. So we'll go ahead and go back here to this very first one at the top and if we want to add that layer to our simulation we just have to click this add button and it shows up. And a couple other things happen once you click that button. You can see here now in our window layers on the right, it shows two-story apartments. And then on our all layers, it shows the same thing. So this all layers is exactly what it says. It's, it's every layer that you're using on this particular simulation. So as you start adding more and more layers, they're all going to show up here. This window layer is only going to show you what is on this specific window in Fire Studio. So just a, a couple of things to remember. And then also know that if you look over here in the all layers you can actually add a layer from there so if you find something that you're using multiple times you can actually just instead of looking through the library you could come over here and add it but um, we'll go back down here and let's say you didn't want that picture we wanted a different one we can go ahead and click and you don't have to remove this or clear it out or do anything you can just simply add another one when you're dealing with backgrounds so we've added another layer and you can see it updated this window layer list to show that now it's the two-story motel and if you look at the all layers list over on this side we've got the two-story apartments that you originally added and now you've got the two-story motel and again that's every layer that's been used in the simulation we can get rid of unused layers by this button down here that says clear unused layers but for now we're just going to leave it because we might want to use that later and so that just gives you a quick overview of, of adding a background now ultimately you're going to want to add your own backgrounds and that'll come after you actually create your own library and add your own backgrounds to it which will be in a different video but uh, for, for now we're just going to go over a few of the things that are in this one so I'm going to go ahead and click down to the smoke and that brings up the smoke list on this side and you can see that uh, we've got all sorts of different types of smoke here and also that the background button is checked which then removes the black background and so Sometimes it's better to look at it with a transparent background, like in the case of the smoke, because it's black. Uh, if you're looking at fire, sometimes it's better to have a black background. It gives you a better idea what it'll look like in a window. So it's kind of your choice, but you some of them will turn on or off by default based on what library it is. So let's go ahead and, and if we wanted to add a smoke layer, once again, we can just click Add and move that around to where we want it. Now, we're not going to go into the different types of editing that you can do to the smoke right now. That, that again is for a different video, but we just want to let you know how you take content from your library and put it onto the screen. could be any number of different things. If we go into this clip art, we can see different things that we can add to the screen. And if we wanted to click those onto the screen, we can. Same with, with damage. Those things are generally smoke and soot stains that you can put on buildings, charring. Um, I use uh, a lot of these real simple charring to put uh, around windows and things like that you know as you start burning things but um, just know that once you get them on here there's a whole nother editing panel that will go over 
on a future video that will tell you how to edit these things. So basically just take a look at all the different layers you have. You can't hurt anything. You can just start adding things to the screen, moving it around. Um, navigation icons, if you wanted to do some on-screen navigation. I'm just throwing just a lot of different things on the screen just so you can see we've got placards um, those can be added to different things and you can you can scale and move those around so there's just a lot of different things that come with Fire Studio and they're all found within these libraries here so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what this library list is what's in it and we encourage you to just explore and play with it throw some things on the screen and see what they look like because um, you, you probably won't know, especially if you're a new user, and it kind of gives you a good idea of what's in there and what you can do with it. All right, thanks for watching. That was the library panel. Again, I'm Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and hope you enjoyed the video.